welcome to another Fighting Fantasy Friday. Uh, in this, we're going to look at issue two of Warlock magazine, which is the Fighting Fantasy magazine that was released back in 1984. So what we've got in this one, we've got a cartoon competition, cash prizes, Rogue's Gallery of Monsters, Peter, something, uh, something artist, can't really read that, it's quite bright, we'll find out in contents, and the Warlock Firetop Mountain part two, thrilling new adventures, Freddy New Adventure in the Ice Caverns of Alantia. So that's going to be Caverns of the Snow Witch then, I guess. Um, so let's have a look at what we got. So we have an uh, advert here for White Dwarf Magazine, interestingly. Uh, your adventure does not stop, have to stop at reference 400. This is interesting. Um, of course, White Dwarf back then wasn't just about Games Workshop products, so you see here. You know, a whole range of multiplayer games exist that takes you beyond the solo game world of fighting fantasy. Games like Dungeons and Dragons, Rune Class, and Traveller. Uh, right, Dwarfers Magazine, uh, dedicated to role playing games. Each month it features articles, scenarios, cartoons, and departments such as Fiend Factory, the creature feature, Treasure Chest, and Magical Missing Ring. Open Box, new games reviewed, Critical Mass, science fiction books, Microview, computer gaming news, and of course, our own comic characters, Gobbledygook. And Frud the Barbarian. Oh man, I wish White Dwarf would do all that sort of thing again. That'd be awesome. Or maybe he can be in someone else and do a magazine. Or look, just basically is the uh, spiritual successor to old White Dwarf. That'd be brilliant. That's where it covered all these other games. If there is one like that out there, let me know. Only 85 pence. Bloody hell. Like almost 8 quid now or something like that, isn't it? So here we go. So we have the little forward again from uh, what we had from last time. For all you have been eagerly waiting second issue of Warlock, you probably read through these opening words, yada yada. So uh, yeah. So it talks about the uh, second part of Warlock Fight Up Mountain and new challenge await you to Caverns of the Snow Witch. Once again, you must set off on a dangerous quest this time in Ice Fanger Mountains. Uh, yeah. I'd like to thank all those people who have sent us encouraging letters. We're still sorting through the pile and we'll print some in the next issue. One reader told us that his father thought uh, there was something wrong with him as he read Warlock <laughs> Firetop Mountains. Oblivious to the world, flicking backwards and forwards between the pages. Little did, know, little did his father know that is exactly what you have to do in the fighting fantasy. <laughs> little did he know, oh, I see the sun was flipping through. It's going backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards, and it's like, what are you doing? Why aren't you just reading it? But that's what you're doing, Fighting Fantasy. That's brilliant. So, out of the pit, vital information new monsters should be Warlock profile number one, Peter Jones. Sam Cars and the Cuckoo. I don't know what that is. Warlock Fight Up Mountain Part 2. Caverns of the Snow Witch. Is that going to just be part one, or is that the whole thing? An adventure sheet and a cartoon competition. So out of the pit, uh, this issue out of the pit concentrates on random encounters, uh, a selection of 100 monsters taken from the Fighting Fantasy game book, and the first two sorcery books. That's quite interesting. Again, useful if you're doing advanced D&D, or writing your own monsters, or you know something like that. I'd say advanced D&D, this could be useful for. Um, yes, yeah, so it shows you a chart here of where monsters come from as well. So the ape dog, you can see, is first appeared C, C equals Citadel Chaos. You can't call it COC because that would sound rude. Uh, yeah, so there we go. So we've got all these monsters here. 68. Yeah, 100 zombies. First appeared in W. Got a first appeared in Warlock Firetop Mountain. Yeah. Creatures listed above can be selected at random. Uh, by Games Masters using special percentage dice. Available at games and hobby shops. These dice. Yeah, yeah it's just, can tell how new all this hobby was back then, which having to explain what a percentile dice is. Uh, alternative folding tables can be used to generate random monster encounters depending on the scenario. So if you're in a dungeon, you use these, castle, wilderness, and water, and that's pretty groovy. I like that. And now we're on to Warlock Profile number one. This page right below, yes, it's all Peter Jones, uh, well known to Warlock readers. Uh, so he did the art for the original Firetop, the Warlock Firetop Mountain cover, Starship Traveller, you can sort of see this, he distinctive uh, style, uh, yeah, he does science fiction, that, that there, 
Yeah, so you can have a read of this if you want yourself. It just takes you through a bit of interview, probably use inspirations. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sam Cars and the Cuckoo. Uh, not all fighting fantasy books are set in the world of orcs, dragons, and wizards. Steve Jackson's Starship Travelers journeys into alien planets. While well, Ian Livingston's Freeway Fighter to be published in the next few months, entering the dangerous life of post Holocaust future, post apocalyptic. He will find a taste of things come. There's a story set in a similar scenario from Australian writer Garth Nix. So it's like you get a bit of a of a story that's cool i hope we get those in the future now i'm not into sci-fi so it's not my bag but i hope we get a uh only i can i hope we get one set in a fantasy world in the future i'll read that set in actual uh alansia only one bbc helicopter would be lost in my era so it's pretty quiet blimey yeah it's a little story here i'm gonna pause it long enough if you um hold on to the page long enough so if you want to pause it have a read now we're back onto the Warlock Firetop Mountain Part 2, so I'd imagine, the here we go, let's have a look. The conclusion of the Final Fantasy adventure, in Warlock 1, you left standing at the top of a narrow staircase about to descend into the deepest, yeah, that is the halfway point I was talking about in the first episode of this video. So your adventure on 286, so, where is 286, here we go, bottom right here, narrow staircase cut into the rock. So you notice all these numbers will probably be different to what you're used to in the book, because these are all just reference 274 onwards and I love that ghoul picture uh, yeah it's brilliant that's what I, just a great art can't flip back to that yeah so numbers are different but it's but they said the actual adventure is different so I might actually go through this one day myself but I'd have to print it out I don't like reading on the screen that much so there we go I'm gonna just skim through what we've maybe pausing the art here yeah Yeah, it looks great. Caverns of the Snow Witch. Before embarking on adventure, uh, I think that's all the same. Just wonder if this is slightly different as well. Let's see how this is done. Uh, Lark got a record sheet here for this. All different as well. I like the fact these are unique ref uh, adventure sheets for the book. I like that one. Background. So this looks like it's going to be fairly much the same. I think the art's different. Is that in the original book? Is that in the original book? I don't remember it. I only played it last year. Ooh. Ooh. It doesn't mention if it's different to the original, so I don't know. Let's have a... I wonder if it's just, again in two parts. It doesn't say it is. I don't imagine there's 400 entries here. Ah. Is this the same? Both flute signs, so smuggle rose, read the book. Is this a different adventure? I'm gonna have to go back and check myself later on, but uh and from Whoa, that is one jittery rat. That's amazing. Oh I like that. That's good art. I don't yeah, I think this is different art, isn't it? Damn it, why don't I keep my fighting fancy books in this room with me? They're all in my bedroom, so I can read so I like reading them at night before I go to bed. All my collection of fighting fancies in my bedroom and I'm downstairs in my gaming room. I don't have it at hand to eat with it at ease. My whole different floor. I don't remember this art. I have to admit. So I think this might be. We'll see in issue three when we get to issue three. Oh no, this is totally different. I don't recognise. I'll recognise her, surely. That's my memory's gone totally bad. It's not treasure slain, and you're free to help yourself to it. It's one ninety, so I think this is a like a mini version of it, cut down convert version of it. You have to work with these no more, but you decide to click. So the sort of story, so remember that's the same. That's pretty cool. I like that mammoth. So I think this is a slightly different version of Caverns of the Snow Witch. So I might have a go through this one day. If I was interested, we can uh, see it on the channel going through these custom warlock adventures. Yeah, let, let us know. That'll be a, an interesting one to do. Cone competition! Wow, first prize £100? 1984? That's a lot of money back then. I mean, 
the running up prize of 20 quid's a lot of money for back then. That's amazing. Again, like the last uh, issue review I did, don't don't write into this address because we're too late. We're too late, guys. We're like 35 years too late. It's going to be no good. Uh, on the back here, we have an advert for Steve Jackson's Sorcery. Uh, coming from Puffin Soon. Interesting. And then just the general advert for some more fighting fantasy books. Uh, including the uh, Now Go It Alone. Create your own fighting fantasy adventures and send them to friends on Paris Mission. Steve Jackson's clearly written handbook. It is a good book. I enjoy reading that. So, yeah, that's the. Uh, and that's the uh, review of this issue. Uh, yeah, quite a good issue. Um, yeah, as I said, if anyone's interested in us going through the adventures, including these magazines, let me know. I'll conclude that into the schedule at some point. Uh, but apart from that, thank you for watching. Uh, really appreciate all the support you're giving. Um, it's nice to get some fighting fantasy stuff on the uh, YouTubes. Not really a lot on there. Um, so yeah, until the next video uh, on Fighting Fantasy Friday, please take care and see you soon.